Hello guys, my name is Wen, and I'm going to show you guys a tutorial on how do you set up multiple UEs with ZMQ. Alright, let's get started. So the first thing you want to make sure you have installed is GNU Radio. To do that, you type in the command sudo app install GNU Radio. You will then be required to type in your password for authentication, and when you do that, it will install GNU Radio in the packages for you. Alright, after you have installed GNU Radio, you will then need to download the files that is required for this project. To do that, you press this link, go to the main repository, and download the zip file for it. You then extract the files, and the only file that you will need in this case is this one right here. After you have downloaded the files, you would then need to go to the root directory, go to the .config file, to the SRS ran file, and open the CSV file right here. You would then need to go back to the website and copy these four lines of text right here. After you copy it, you want to paste it right here. After you save the CSV file, you would then need to go to the terminal and add the namespaces. To do that, you would type in the command sudo ip net ns add ue1. You would then do the same for the other two namespaces. After you're done, to check your namespaces, you type in the command sudo ip net ns list. And then you will see the three namespaces right here. After you check that all three of the namespaces exist, um, you need to start the EVC. To do that, on this terminal, you run this command right here. On the second terminal, you will need to set up environmental variables for the EMB. To do that, you copy this line of text right here, and paste it on this terminal. You will need to type in your password for authentication, and after you do that, your environmental variable will be set up. You will then need to copy the EMB code into this terminal as well. After this is running, you will need to set up the code for UEs. To do that, you need to go on your third terminal and paste this line of text right here. This will be your first UE on the namespace UE1, and you will need authentication for that as well. You will then go on your fourth terminal and paste this line of text. This will set up the UE for your second namespace. And the same for the third one. Once you have set up all three of the UEs, you will see all three of them will have an attaching UE process right here. You will then need to go to the files that you just downloaded and open up this file right here. After you open up the file, you press run and then all three of them will initialize. You will then see that this will have an IP address for each UE. In this case, this is 172.16.02. This one is 3. And this is 4. After that, you will need to ping. To do that, you could go on the new terminal, 
and copy this command right here. What this does, it goes from the uplink from your UE to the address, to the IP address. You type in the password for authentication, and then it should supposed to be start peeing. You then type this command to test out the other UEs. And you'll see they will work as well. Then you will need to copy this command to test for downlink. And watch this is testing from the station to the device. Another way you could do it, besides ping, is by iperf. To do that, you copy this command for the network side. And on a new terminal, you copy this line of code for the device. And as you see, it works. And there you have it. This is a tutorial on how to set up multiple UEs with ZMQ.